how's it going guys? Alright, so recently I just um, rented a movie from Blockbuster and the movie I rented is called Prank. That cover looks pretty awesome. Why do I always point over here? That cover looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? With the clown and the cell phone. Yeah, the, the, the cover looks awesome, so I picked it up. I love killer clown movies and whatnot, and um, this really was not what I expected at all. Prank is one of those movies where when you first turn it on, you just find out that it's a found footage movie, and you're like, oh, it's a freaking found footage movie, and you have to watch it anyways. But this one's actually pretty cool. It follows three high schoolers, two mainly. I don't know why it says on the back that it follows three high schoolers, but it does. But basically, it just follows two. And the, uh, what are their names again? Jordan and... Starts with the C. I forget, I don't know. But the point is, it follows these two high school nerds, and um, they are sick and tired of getting bullied all the time. So what they do is they try to set out this prank. So at this point, the movie takes an unexpected turn and it turns out that uh the bullies the people who they are trying to prank but first off they tp their house and um to hide their identities they wear these clown masks that's what's what that explains the front cover right here but um yeah so they wear these clown masks and they basically just go out first they tp their house and they're recording everything and um they look inside their house and they're two bullies by the way um i forget their names but um they catch them in the act. Yeah, anyways, um, so they just run off, they have it on footage, and the bullies know that they caught them in the act, and they filmed it, and they, they are now putting it on the internet. So basically, they go to their house, and they, act, they tell them to delete the footage, they tell them it's too late, it's already up on the internet, and um, it, it, it's really weird. It pretty much gets to the point where they kidnap him, and they tie him up to the chair, and they because the bully, he's like, he's, he wants to kill them. Like, he's really pissed at them. So, you know, they tie him up to a chair in their basement. And basically, they have no other choice but to torture him or whatever. And then the other one soon finds out. And then, but at the end, there's this really big and unexpected twist that it's just... It's kind of predictable in a way, if you really think of the title. But, hey, it's still, it's pretty awesome. But yeah, Prank got a lot of very good reviews, surprisingly. A lot of people seem to like it, and um, I did too. I thought it was unexpectedly good. It's not great. Definitely not the best uh, found footage movie out there, but hey, it's it's something. It's better than your average low-budget horror flick nowadays. What I do wish what would happen is if they wore these uh, clown masks more in the movie. They really only wore for like five minutes in the movie, and then it's just... I think that covers just to like... Um, grasp your attention I guess I don't know but they should have worn more of a clown mask but other than that I really liked it some of the acting of course was a bit bad but that's what you get when you watch a low budget horror movie overall I really enjoyed Brink though I thought it was a very clever and well made film especially for a found footage movie it was very awesome very cool idea I don't think anybody's ever done this idea before kind of I don't know but anyways overall I'd probably give Prink three and a half out of five stars very entertaining um, please check it out if you love killer clown movies in a way. Actually, I take that back. There really is no killer clown in this movie anywhere. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Alright, guys, I'm Jacob Palacio. Please leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next, and I will see you guys later.